am Jen and I asked you guys on YouTube and Instagram what kind of video you wanted to see and you said Pinterest inspired outfits. So here we are. So with this first one and basically all of them, they're going to be inspired and I'm using all of the clothing that I own in my closet for these. So uh, we're just going to see what we can do. So yeah. And I know she's not actually wearing Doc Martens in this outfit, but I think Doc Martin loafers will look super cute, unfortunately. I don't have Doc Martin loafers, so we're just gonna work with what we got. And she's got white jeans, a red top, and some cute glasses. So let's see what I can come up with. So I have this red thrifted corduroy jacket. I know she was wearing jeans, but I've only got like white overalls. This is what we're going with. And I know she didn't wear socks, but I think the red socks just like tie in the whole look. On the top I have this DIY top that I made in New Zealand with my Nana which is like Mickey Mouse patchwork and obviously the girl is wearing glasses and these ones are not my prescription so we'll see how it goes but I think this is such a cute outfit. These glasses are literally so big they make me look like a little bug or something obviously you could just kind of like not have them as overalls and just wear it like this even there's another outfit coming that goes with this concept that's why i'm rolling with it all right this next one is so cute i love the oversized look and all the colors because you really do not need to be wearing black all the time it's just super effortless and cool so i thought i would go with that because i also have the chelsea boots that she's wearing so i have got those and a lot of people struggle to put these on but honestly they just go on so easily for me so sorry to brag but i just slide them in Ta-da! Now she's also wearing a jacket. Mine is not cream colored, <laughs> mine is yellow. I thought I'd take into account that there's yellow in my top, as I don't know if the yellow goes with the pink really, but <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Are you guys really dark over there? Let's brighten it up. Obviously I'm gonna add sunglasses because that's me. I honestly don't use bags. I'm not a bag person, but I thought I'd add this little crochet bag. This is what we're going with. It is very bright and colorful. Maybe not so much for the summertime in Australia, which is right now and I'm dying. Now she's wearing her top kind of over top of her pants, but I just can't do that. I have to tuck it in, that's just me. Now the top in question is actually Unknown Model Orchestra, which is an awesome band and you should listen to them. Okay, cool. Also, I never said where everything's from, but this jacket is thrifted, the bag is from Ganda, these pants are thrifted, and obviously I got this top from a concert. So again with this one, she is not wearing Doc Martens, but I just thought it would look super cute with some Docs. So I have got these Buckle 1461 Alt. Kind of gone with more of a summer inspired version of this because I am not wearing a jacket, but I've gone with the same kind of colour tones. And I like how she's matched the top with the shoes and had a bit of colour separation with like I think checkerboard, checked pants, but I went with checkerboard because I wanted to do something a bit more fitted like what she was wearing. So I went for these checkerboard pants. Might be clashing with this top. I wanted to add the green element as well. And I think it's kind of a grungy cool outfit. And yes, I'm wearing a Coldplay top from when I saw them like in 2012. Was that 10 years ago? Holy moly, holy moly. And like I said, I don't like wearing oversized, but for you to have a look, <laughs> I just like my waistline. So we're putting it back. Okay, cool. I feel safe. Now don't worry, pals. The rest of these are going to be actual Doc Martin inspo because this one is probably the cutest and most exciting one out of the whole list. Mainly because I haven't actually put on my Jaden since I've been back in Australia and I have missed them. So here we are. Now, although this is a very simple outfit, I think this is something very wearable for me at the moment. I like to keep things pretty cool. I don't actually have a white crop top like in the picture, so I went with black, which is more my style. I am wearing this skirt, <laughs> which is actually a dress that I wear a lot, but I've just kind of rolled down the top of it and tied it at the back. I mean, it's not the prettiest job, but it does... <laughs> 
It does the job. Here we are. We've got my little purse that I actually use basically every day because it just fits my phone and like some money. I like actually don't want to take this one off. I want to wear this today. So I'm going to put a little bookmark in this one. That's what's super cool about finding outfits from Pinterest. Like no, you're not just going on there to completely copy an outfit, but it does give you some more ideas of how to style stuff you already have in your wardrobe. So that's awesome, because I like to maximize every piece that I own. Now you're probably gonna fire me after this one because it's so loosely related to the inspo pick, but I am wearing loose overalls, so. <laughs> it's so super cute though. I've just gone again with the concept overalls that are kind of baggy and I've just belted them here just like Rihanna or is it Rihanna tell me and then I paired it with this white top to kind of contrast with the black because I was gonna go with black top but then you can really tell that I had done this whole thing with my overalls they're a little bit noisy like you kind of end up with a tail it looks so cool and like effortless she was wearing 1460 Doc Martens in black I don't have those so we went with these Jade Maxes because they're uh, basically my favourite. Just gives you another option for when you're wearing overalls because you don't always want to wear them like overalls because it seems like you're wearing the same outfit. So the overalls were like five dollars I thrifted in New Zealand and this top is from the Wombats concert that I went to, I don't know, even over ten years ago. I don't know. Whip. Whip. Now for this next look, it kind of looks like she has yellow laces in her docks and I've been so excited to put these kind of laces in my docks so that is what I'm gonna do right now. Doesn't that look just so cool? Yes. Do I look like her? Do I look like her? I think this is probably the closest and I love Matilda May or is it Matilda May? Anyway, she designs these like cool belts and so I thought I'd add it <laughs> to the outfit even though she's definitely not wearing it. I think it just adds a little bit extra to the outfit and I really like how she chose to wear yellow laces with these white shoes because to be honest I never wear these shoes and I think it's because I don't like the look of the black laces and this has given them like a new life so maybe sometimes you just have to change out something from something you don't like or like alter it in a little bit maybe I'll actually wear it. Now I am actually wearing a dress underneath this. Hello, but I just wore the white top on top to again make it look like a skirt because it's becoming very apparent to me that I don't have enough skirts in my wardrobe. So I really love this outfit and I think it's a really good baseline to start with like looking at the different silhouettes of the outfit and this is what I came up with. Like which leg do you like better? Do you like it out? Like a wide leg jean? Or do you like it like this because I just realized there's this hack where you can like kind of fold the sides in you roll up the bottom oh god this is gonna go terribly wrong and then you roll it one more time and then you should be good and it just like makes your white jeans into more of a like mom style she was just wearing plain black socks I personally cannot find anything in my room right now so we have got these kind of like grid patterns can't even talk. These grid pattern socks <laughs> and I don't have a plain, like I wish this was like a white cropped button down, which I don't have, but gives me an idea that when I'm going thrifting, that's what I should be looking for. But for now we got this look and obviously all I've done here is like tucked my shirt underneath my bra so it doesn't look the greatest from the back but I'm not going to show you that. You know when like influencers do this it means they're lying on the floor. That's what I'm doing right now. Oh, I need to do more ab workouts I'm telling you. So for this one considering it has a turtleneck I decided to just go full heat stroke and like put my hair out for this. It is a very preppy cute look. We got the little Dark one, 1461s, classic. I think they're gonna be trending a lot soon, as well as a little plaid skirt and obviously a turtleneck that I just spilled heaps of water on when I was trying to take a drink. So I'm not lactating, it's just water. And obviously I could have worn some like tennis skirts, which you may have seen my video about tennis skirts, but they're currently a bit short and I wanted something a little bit longer, which I actually made with my Nana recently. The top is from H&M like a long, long time ago. Now, I honestly don't think I said anything about where the last outfits were from, but I will have all the info down in the description. 
or just ask me in the comments. I'm actually like so desperate for a haircut. Um, let me know if you think I should have one. I'm considering like getting it quite short. It's just too much. It's too heavy. Look, I get it. She looks cool and I just kind of look cute. But you do have to add your own flavor and spice to an outfit. So, yes. So I didn't have a full red mono kind of look. So I went with pink because I did have that. And I've got this pink corduroy like set from Ganda. I got it a few years ago and you guys, if you've been following me for a while, you're probably like sick of seeing it. But for everyone new, hello. This is a new outfit that no one's ever seen before. And I have this black bag again, but personally I think I would go with actually this tote. I know it's a bit of a clash, but it says something on it. What does it say? Anything is possible. So if anything's possible, you can wear whatever kind of bag that you want. And I also have socks, which I don't know if you can see. <laughs> I hope I'm not just like showing my crutch right now, but the socks also are green and pink and I need to stretch. Also, she has sunglasses on her head. Now, I don't understand how people do that. Like, they literally get knotted into my hair if I do that. So I'm just gonna go like this and keep it away. And she went with, I think, the Dog Muns 1461s, which I wore in the last outfit as well. Um, I can't really tell. It could be the 1460s, but they have the same look. Obviously her pants are a bit longer than mine, but I like to show a little bit of ankle for the boys. You guys always ask me where socks are from. Um, ah -ah. <laughs> they look like this. Um, yeah. All my socks are from a bunch of places, but I'm hoping to maybe sell some in the future. But I think those ones were from Typo. I shop at Cotton On or Kmart or Happy Socks. Urban Outfitters, that is where I get my socks from. So that has been my Pinterest inspired outfits with Doc Martens. I hope you enjoyed it. I know some of them didn't actually have Doc Martens, but I made them have that, so yay. Um, let me know if you want to see more videos like this and let me know also which was your favorite outfit. I'd like to see what you think. And my name has been Jen. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And until next time, keep wondering and I'm going to faint. It's so hot.